Mm. Oh boy, you can feel it. It's getting cold outside, and this is typically the time of year when people hunker down, maybe get to the comfort food. Speaking for myself here, by the way. <laughs> but that shouldn't stop you and your kids from getting outside and keeping active. That's right. Is that a testimonial? Uh, <laughs> nutritionist and celebrity health coach Karina Heinrich joins us. Hey, how are you? Hi, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. I see you've got a helper there. I like it. I do. I do. I have one of my three decided to come help today. All so right, that's better so than nothing. Mom <laughs> means business. It's the new year. Let's do this. Yeah. Uh, people restart their fitness goals. How can parents encourage their kids to get going? I mean, sometimes it's just so cold outside. We don't want to go. So how do we get the kids moving? <laughs> Well, exactly. But a family that works out together stays healthy together. So it's really important for parents to be those role models and walk the talk. You know, if you if you get on that cold weather attire and get outside, bundle up to start to move those bodies, the kids will be encouraged to follow. You want to set up an area outside so that it looks fun and show them that being outside, it snowed in Chicago, we're gonna build snowmen, we can go sledding, get them shoveling. I'm gonna shovel for my workout today. So be that role model, even if it's so cold and so hard for mom and dad. I love it. Those are some great ideas <laughs> for taking them outside in your own backyard. And even think about it, you are getting a workout when you're building a snowman. Yes, uh, any yes. tips for going indoors? I see you with the hula hoops, that's kind of cool. I know, there was too much snow for us to set up outside, but the great thing about hula hoops, jump ropes, even these amazing like pop-up goals is you can set them up inside. You know, you can set up obstacle courses, even if you have a small space, wheelbarrow, crab and bear walk races, mm -hmm. put on fun music. We have the ultimate dance parties in our house. So it's all about moving your body, no matter what your space is or no matter what the environment is outside. Obviously, the minute it warms up, we're going to take all these items outside to make sure that we're moving our bodies. So the weather should not stop us. With my kids, um, I, I've always tried to not make the resolution so much about weight loss like adults, adults yes. do. But is it a good idea to have them create some goals, like be able to do 15 to 20 push-ups, be able to do certain numbers of certain fitness routines? Does that help them setting specific goals? Absolutely. Even as little as three-year-olds should be setting those goals. So saying, okay, if you're on that soccer team, how can we start to work out at home? We as a family sit down the first week of January. And again, it's not about the weight loss. It's more about what kind of sports do you guys want to try this year? How are you going to move your body? What's one healthy fruit or vegetable you can add to that plate? So again, making these small, tiny goals that make a big difference in a child's life and setting that up early. We talk about health really early in this house. And I really mm. encourage parents to have that talk. I love that. And I'm just curious, do you keep a journal or anything that maybe you guys get together as a family by the end of the week or monthly to kind of talk about your progression? We write it down and post it up and we talk about it and say, are you, what have you done this week that really makes your body feel strong and good? It's really important to have those keywords, especially with the little ones that you're encouraged positive body image as well. So yes, whatever helps as a family, have a notebook. You don't want it to be stressful though. Mm -hmm. So we like kind of integrate it very casually. Nice and fun. Karina Heinrich, we love exactly. checking in with you. We love all of your tips. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to learn yeah. more about Karina, you can follow her on Instagram. She's got a great account. I've been following it here as well. Uh, the Karina <laughs> Method, right? And your website is thekarinamethod.com. We appreciate it.